Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing well. It has been one rough spring and summer, hasn't it? And it's still continuing. And I really pray that everybody's doing fine and everybody's staying safe and healthy. I just wanted to come here to reflect on something about face coverings. And because this is a channel about face coverings uh, mainly, uh, so I wanted to just come and reflect on the irony of the whole situation and how Allah really is the best of planners. Even uh, humans tend to think that they plan and scheme against Allah, but Allah then completely turns everything around and completely puts everybody on their place. I hope you can actually see me. This is so weird. I'm wearing this cap type of like a lid thingy. Do you call this even a lid? I'm not a bottle. Have you seen how these nations that banned the face veil are uh, like France, like Austria, like several other countries that banned niqab or face covering and said it's a security threat and that's not part of our society and uh, we should not wear it and we can't identify you if you cover your faces. Then how about now? Now Austria made it mandatory to wear face coverings if you go to basically wear the mask if you go to the supermarket. And France now made it illegal to walk around in public places without having a face mask. And I know, I know I'm not talking that Nefab protects you from viruses, it doesn't. This is, I'm not talking about this virus thing or that we should be able to wear niqab because it protects us from viruses. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that the irony that they themselves, these governments, these politicians, they, they banned the face veil and said it's a security threat, that we can't identify you and there's more chance that you make crimes if you are covering your faces. How come is that fear lessened now that everybody's covering their faces with face masks. I think everybody should cover their faces with face masks, masks if it's like required, required and you have a very bad situation in your area and stuff. I'm just saying that how is that not diminishing the crime rates? Yani? I mean, people don't have an issue of suddenly everybody covering their faces in public places and in public transport and supermarkets and banks and everything and airplanes let's talk about airplanes no one has a problem of people covering their faces and and no one is saying to them oh, i can't recognize you i can't identify you you can't be on i don't feel secure enough to be in this plane with you no now on the other hand they are saying <laughs> they would be thinking that i don't want to be with this person if he doesn't cover their face with the face mask because that's a big risk of getting the virus and spreading the virus so yeah my point really is not about is it spreading the viruses or like obviously the face masks masks protect you from viruses or um, alleviate the risk of getting the viruses and spreading them and i'm saying i'm completely only talking about from the perspective of being security threat that people really when they were banning niqabs when they are still banning niqabs and they really Still are against niqab they're saying we should not wear it because I can't identify you I don't feel safe with you you might bomb yourself or you might rob me because I can't identify you no security cameras can't blah 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 but that's the same thing with face masks suddenly no one is afraid of bank robbery or terrorism because there's a face mask everybody's covering their faces now even more it would be easy for somebody to, to commit crimes yani if that would be if that would be the case that if you wear a face mask or if you cover your face you're going to be a criminal how suddenly these other people are not considered criminals really because for example i remember i have to say i had to tell this story like in length in some other video but i was once in my health center in a lab taking a blood blood sample and this nurse she was very rude to me and she basically said to me that only criminals cover their faces and i was like really only criminals cover their faces really and look at us now how allah really shows these people their place and how allah really shows these people who is in charge who really is in charge and how 
he also shows with this with this pandemic he also shows us we should not submit to these people and let them um yeah, and he bounces us around saying like oh you can't wear that it's a security threat to us I, we don't feel uncom we don't feel comfortable with that but we don't that's not my problem that you feel uncomfortable with my face covering yeah you can say that you feel uncomfortable with me and my islam that's okay you can say that that's your feelings and you you have a right to them but don't tell me that i'm a security threat really don't tell me that i'm a security threat really because they, you have to just really be yourself sisters be be comfortable with what allah gives you and what allah orders you to do and whether it's a face covering or not just like my point i guess what i'm trying to say is that choose what allah home so dark almost so dark okay so just choose what allah chooses for you like if allah is pleased with you it doesn't matter if the whole world is against you really because in the end of the day they're just going to care for themselves and they can't even save themselves but on how can they save you they can't protect you against allah in the judgment day I also want to say that if you have been thinking about wearing a niqab or covering your face but you've been uncomfortable so far, just start for example with the face mask. So start with the face mask, it's already uh, protection for you and for other people around you, but also it gives you the idea of like how does it feel to be covering your face in, in front of other people. It is, not as a, it is not as comfortable as wearing niqab to be honest, because wearing a, wearing a mask is a completely different thing and show than wearing a niqab. But I hope it just gives you maybe that oomph, that extra boost and extra motivation and strength to start wearing it during these days that it has become very normal, very acceptable and even mandatory to cover your faces. So I just hope that maybe my reflection made sense in some way. If it, if it did, it comes from Allah only and all the mistakes and blabbering is from myself and Shaitan. So I hope you are feeling safe and staying safe and I see you soon inshallah. Salam alaikum.